morning is Pat Walker, Mission Winners, doing a video overview for everybody on the ETFs. Biotechnology, BBH. You can see on the weekly chart, this is weekly on the left as I stated, and daily on the right. It's a good looking chart there, and it's pushing through. Only negative, there's good volume on this, a, a pickup in volume on the weekly, but not that heavy, okay? Uh, volume was lower on the, right here, on the daily. Also note, this trades thin. Look at the average daily volume on this. It's, well, just to give you an example, the volume Friday was 5,700 shares. That's thin. But the big picture is this. Biotechnology starting to pick up. There you go. So what do you do with that knowledge? And again, it's a long base. See if there's some good quality biotechnology stocks breaking out of cleaning as a simple basis. Systematize. It works. Cloud computing, that's eh, pretty low down here, okay? Not a lot of power. I mean, look at the weekly. That You're not going to see this in any chart book saying... This is what you look for. This is great. So be careful with cloud commuting. Computing, that's easy for me to say. Cloud commuting. That would be like a video, wouldn't it? Cloud commuting. Okay, that's a different story. Never mind. Electric vehicles picking up a little bit here. Maybe a low level cup with handle. One thing that is a plus though is look. Look, you can see this base right here and I'll draw it for you. I was an IBD meetup co-leader for years and used to do this on the stage. Here we go. Going sideways, one potential plus, a slight pickup in volume on the weekly. And you can see this base here. Maybe look at a couple of electric vehicle stocks. There you go. <clears throat> Dow Jones Internet's just basing low level here. I mean, this is not in a super leadership position. It does have a decent base down here, and I'll draw it for you. So here's what you can do. You can sit there and punch up the ticker symbol and look at the top 10 holdings. See if there's anything good in there. There we go. Systematize. And here's the daily with the line. There we go. Continue onwards. IBD 50 still lagging. I mean, closed down on the week. Not a lot of power there. Be aware of that. I'm not criticizing the IBD 50. I'm just pointing out there's not a lot of power in those leadership stocks. Gold. Gold miners picking up. We own this. By the way, this is, this is the setup we want. Weekly on the left, daily on the right. Look at the weekly base. Pushing through there. Here's the daily. Same line. Pushing through there. And it's working. We just let it work. There we go. Continue onward. Gold's picking up a little bit also. Similar base. Okay, a little bit higher level. Pushing through here. That's a plus. Just know that it's not as powerful as GDX. I'll show you again. Here's the move on GDX. That's a pretty good move there, folks. Here's GLD. Just started moving this week. Which one's leading? Again, GDX broke out four weeks ago. GLD just broke out this week. And not on really heavy volume. GDX leads. That's why we're involved with it. IBB, longer base. Now, we like this better, and I'll tell you why. It's a good base, but note the weekly. Note the volume pickup. Note the daily pickup. Also, note the volume is much heavier on IBB than BBH. It's fluid. It's more fluid. That's why you lean more on this. There we go. Need to share that with us. Online retail, it's pretty low level here. I'd be careful with that, okay? <clears throat> Oil and gas has a high-level cup with a handle. It needs to take out these tops. Energy has been strong. We are, we're involved in energy, but this is just basing right here, maybe forming a handle. Something to watch. IGV technology, software tech, picking up a little bit, but not that powerful. Be careful. Needs to push through these tops, by the way. Needs to push through these tops right here. You see that line? And do it on really heavy volume. But overall, ton of overhead supply. Not a leadership group. <clears throat> medicine picking up a little bit. What's the common theme you're seeing in many of these ETFs? They're not near highs. They're not near highs. Be cautious with that. IJH software mid cap. I mean, it's, or mid cap. I'm sorry. Just kind of lagging here. Nothing really special. Home construction picking up just a little bit. It's basing. Ton of overhead supply. Not a lot of power on the weekly. Be be careful with that. S and P 500. Growth, picking up a little bit, but tons of overhead supply. Just air to the side of caution. Small cap has base right here. Tons of overhead supply. What does it need to do? This is the weekly chart. Take out those tops with really heavy volume. And it doesn't look too bad on the daily. What does that tell us? Maybe the rally's spreading out from just the big cap stocks into the small caps too. And that would be constructive. Airlines, level right there. It's okay, but again, a lot of overhead supply. 
a lot of overhead supply. Be careful with that. Regional banking, another one. Basing, but a ton of overhead supply. You got to be cautious. Mid caps picking up, a lot of overhead supply, a bit choppy. Oil services. This was really good to us, and it's been it's been good to us. You see this base right here? I'll show you something here. Look at that base. See the breakout right there? You see the volume? And that's why we own it, and it's working. Sold some in the strength. We're in fine shape. I'm not saying buy it here, but you can see even on the weekly, that low-level spot. Daily, low-level spot, volume breakout. There we go. Oil, there's really not much happening here. I'd be careful with that. I'd leave that alone. Online retail, picking up. Lots of overhead supply here, folks. Legging, be cautious with that. Pharmaceuticals picking up a little bit. PPH, you can see the line right there. Lift it off. Not a lot of volume is a negative, though. When it pushes through that level, see the volume? There was none. You've got to be cautious with that. Volume means other people see what we see, and they're acting on it. QLD, picking up a little bit. Low level down here. Needs to lift across these tops on really heavy volume. Okay, that's what we're looking for. I'll take this off right now. There we go. So you can see this. Ton of overhead supply. Okay, NASDAQ 100 weekly. Same thing's true with the QQQ. Retail's picking up a little bit. Not a lot of leadership there. Cloud computing, basing down here. Not a lot of leadership there. Silver looks a little bit better. Silver, did we notice we talked a little bit about gold? Silver picked up a little bit too. Precious metals across that base right there. And I'll draw it for you so you can see it. And you can say, but Pat, I didn't do it. That's okay. The reason I'm making these videos is to educate us, our mind and our eyes on what to look for. Here's the weekly. And you can see the same line basically on the daily pushing through. And it had good volume. I'm not saying buy it today, but look for patterns like that. When you're scanning weekly on the left, daily on the right. That'll help you. Steel's picking up a little bit. Turn in a corner. Good volume here on the weekly, that's a plus. Okay, we like that. SMH, low level cup with handle, picking up through here. Uh, it's okay, not great. Need some real power through these tops. Spiders picking up a little bit through here. Needs more power through these tops, but good volume on the weekly. SSO we're involved with, and it's picking up a little bit. And you can see it had good volume on this bar right here. Look at the volume pickup. There we go. And it was pushing across weekly tops. You combine both variables together. It helps us make better investing decisions. Uh, solar is picking up, but it's kind of choppy here. You know, I mean, it's okay. But the good point is this. Solar starting to pick up. Maybe the rally starting to pick up in solar stocks. There we go. Small cap, just like IWM. And look at the weekly here. And look at the volume pickup on the weekly. You see that? That's constructive. Needs to take out the top of that bar on really heavy volume which corresponds with that bar right there. Small cap stocks could show the rally spreading out. Uranium, it's pretty choppy down here. Nothing really exciting. Oil, it's choppy down here. Nothing really exciting. Aerospace and defense picking up a little bit. It's, it's a little bit loose, though. You've got to be careful with that, just for what it's worth. Maybe take out the top here, but it's going to have to do it on really good volume. But it's, it moves around. It's kind of loose, so be aware of that. Biotechnology picking up a little bit across these tops. Okay, you can see that. Another biotechnology ETF. So we've seen a couple of them now. There we go. Home builders picking up. Look at the low level base right here. What's it need to do? Push across that line and stay above that line with good price and volume action. Home builders. Materials picking up a little bit. That's okay. Energy. See that base right there? Right there on the weekly. And we picked some of that up, and it's working. Let it work. Wouldn't buy any more here. Financial started to go, but they backed off a little bit. Needs to take out the top of that bar with really heavy volume. Industrial's picking up a little bit also, as you can see. Technology's still kind of lagging here. Not a lot of power. Consumer staples picking up. You can see these tops across here. All right, I'll draw this for you so you can see it. Whoopsie daisy, my fault. I'm sorry. We'll do it again. There we go. Go across these tops right here, consumer staples. Now, here's what you can do. You can say, well, I see that. Um, Pat, what, what do we maybe look for here? What can we do to systematize this a bit better? 
You can go in there in XLP and find out what their top 10 holdings are. Google it, top 10 holdings XLP or XLP top 10 holdings, and that can help you. There you go. I'm not saying buy it, but you can see it's starting to show a little bit more leadership. And that's how we connect the dots at Mission Winners. Retail, low level cup down here, okay? Some pickup in the retail sector, some, a lot of overhead supply, ton of overhead supply. Be aware that utilities are picking up, wow, this is loose. Look at this, this is loose. You're not going to see patterns like this in many books saying this is what you look for to buy. So be careful with that. Healthcare's picking up a little bit, that's good to see. Across the, this top down here, and it's picking up. Okay, so healthcare, rally spreads out a bit. Consumer discretionary, no real power yet. Tells us to be careful with consumer discretionary. You can see that low level base down there and you can see it on the daily, but it's not a real leadership group at this point in time. Metals and mining picking up a little bit across these tops, as you can see on a pickup in volume. That's good, metals. Okay, so you've got something else maybe to look at. <clears throat> Oil is just kind of choppy right here, folks. Here's the weekly and here's the daily. Not a lot of power. Retail, low level down here. It's okay, but not great. Software, low level down here, but not great. And we're back to the top. You can, and again, you can see this is low level and not really lifting. But then you go to... Let's find it. But then you go to like a BBH, which I'm not suggesting buy because it is too thin. It's a better base. So now let's move on to the max list stocks. Here's Apple picking up. It does have a higher low. It's awfully choppy in here, back and forth and back and forth. This is the weekly, the daily, picking up a little bit. It would be nice to see it take out the weekly's highs here, which would correspond with right here, take out these bars. But again, it's, it's whippy. It's back and forth here. Here's the one plus though. And again, these are the things we teach. It gapped down on the weekly and fell and closed in the top fourth of its range on the weekly chart with a pickup in volume. So maybe it's going to start to lift. I'm not saying it's going to, but it's something that bears watching because it demonstrated some strength on the weekly bar and on the daily too. There we go, that's Apple. Amazon, trying to lift off here, but backed off. I'm gonna refresh this chart real quick, hold on. There we go, clean it up. This is again the weekly. Lift it off on a pickup in volume. These tops across here, you see this? And I'll draw the line for you. And again, I don't forecast. We get in line with what is. But you can see it lifted up on a pickup in volume. It's pulled back on less volume. Perhaps it will take out this line. It does have a higher low setup on the weekly and the daily. All right, this low is higher than this low. So it's something to bear watching. Also remember, we're coming to the end of the year. We had a large group <clears throat> webinar earlier this week pointing these things out as far as the major indices are concerned, the ETFs. There we go. So here's Alibaba picking up, pushed up off these tops. See the breakout right there on the daily right here? That's why VIPs own it. It's on the list. We'll see what happens. Perhaps it'll keep on going. We're in it. Baidu, similar situation across these tops right here, and it lifted up. Perhaps it'll keep going. We'll see. Now, I'm not saying buy it here, but if you note also, it's just a little bit above the highs of these bars right here. So we'll watch this and see. Had good volume on that bar though. Perhaps it will continue. Something to continue watching. Google has a higher low setup picking up. Have you noticed a the theme here? I keep saying high or low. It shows increasing strength in these max list stocks. And that's what we want to see. Will it continue? I don't know. You don't know. We don't forecast. We get in line with what is. But this is starting to improve. It'd be nice if this would base a little bit and then start to lift and run. Something to bear watching. Goldman Sachs going across these tops right here on the weekly. And here's the daily. And I'll draw this for you. There you go. What does it need to do? First off, it lifted off three days ago on a pretty good volume pickup. Go across these tops here with a volume pickup would be constructive. And it also shows up on the weekly. Now note this though, on the weekly, 
down on fairly heavy volume, up on less volume, down on a pickup in volume. What does that tell us? There's institutional selling in here too, still. It needs to go across this line here on the daily, and it needs to do it on good volume. These are the things we teach, and it works. Meta's picking up, and, and you can see this, it's a higher low setup, but this is really lagged for a long time. Tremendous amount of overhead supply. I'd, I'd be a little careful with that, just, just for what it's worth. If you do decide to buy taking out the highs of Friday, just don't go too big. Manage it. Microsoft picking up. Own it. See these tops right here? See the volume that came through it? Here's the weekly, and I'm going to draw the line for you so you can, we're all tracking together here. There you go. There's the weekly. Here's the daily. And notice when it pushed through the line. Look at the volume pickup. That's what we want to see. If this takes out the highs here, we'll buy more. We'll watch and see, assuming the market's acting good. So we own this and you can see why. On the daily setup, pushing through that line, and also on the weekly setup, pushing through the line. There we go. Netflix is starting to pick up a little bit, and that's, that's a plus. Have you noticed, by the way, all these charts, they're still down low, but they're starting, it looks like, to turn the corner, and that is positive. So watch these and see. I'd watch these max list stocks. Great money could be made in these at the right time. So Netflix picking up a little bit. Like to see some more power, see what happens. NVIDIA's picking up, ran up, backed off. Take out this bar right here. Could be a potential buy. New buy or add-on. Move across these lines. So something bear watching is can it do it? And here's the weekly, and you can see, pushing across here with a volume pickup. We have price alert set, so something that I would watch is NVIDIA. Continue onwards. Tesla, you can see the tops right here. You can see it on the daily, and this is why we also look at the weekly. And I'll draw the line for you. And it's nothing fancy. This is what I like. I look, and I've done this for year, decades, focus on clean and simple base entry that everybody can see. Why? It increases the potential that they're going to see it and buy also. And isn't that what we want? We don't want to be the only person in the world that sees the setup and acts on it. We want others to see it and act on it. So what, here's the clean base. Top's right here. A lot of overhead, so be aware of that. Okay. Take out this line with really good volume and good price action in a good market. All right. VM and Mission Winner stands for market. It's the first thing. Got to be careful with that. Spiders picking up a little bit, as you can see here. Igniting bar here. Push through these tops. SSO through those tops. Pick this up. We're in this. We'll watch this and see if it continues. Not, not big, but we're watching it. QQQ's picked up a little bit here. Good volume on this bar. Maybe this will start to lift through here. And here's the weekly, as you can see. QLD, similar situation. Picked up on the daily pretty good. Maybe it'll take out these tops and you can get involved with QLD. But note this, it needs to take out these highs here and it needs to do it in a good market and it needs to do it with good volume. All the things we look for. MDY, similar situation, up on good volume, resting here for a couple of bars. Maybe this will start to pick up. And ponder this for a minute. Have you noticed? We just looked at the major indices, the major ones, and you can say, Oh, yeah, I, I see what you're talking about there. IWM, similar situation, going across these tops. All right. And again, I'm reviewing the major index ETS, if you couldn't tell. And then there's spiders. We just loop through it again. You can say, why would you do that? Just to really drive home the point on what to look for. And then we go back to SSO, which we did. And then we round it out with QQQ, QLD, MDY. IWM we talked about, TNA, and then we loop through the max list stocks. Anyway, I just wanted to stress, clarify what to look for in the charts. Really examine them, really explain it, hopefully in a way that makes sense to you. My goal is this, not just to give ideas, it's to explain things in a way that you understand the concept and therefore you can apply it to other stocks. 
Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.